What is going on everybody? Welcome back to EU4 as France. I hope you are enjoying it so far. We continue. We're still in this war with Burgundy. So we'll, we'll, we'll just keep going um, as we as we were when we left off. Hopefully we can win. <laughs> I'm going to have to surrender a bit. Not surrender, but you know, lose a bit of ground I think in the north at least early on. Can we go into Austria v Poland? Ooh. Okay, we can't go to England. I was just checking. Let's take that. But yeah, we'll keep our troops together. Let's not get caught off. There is a lot of them <laughs> if I, up here. So I can't really send one stack. But yeah, if we just try and separate peace Brittany fairly early. We've got the sieges underway. We should be okay. We are losing money. So we will go ahead and grab one place. Bourgeoisie. Where are those loans? Before I run out. Quick. Why can't I find it? In debt. There we go. There we go, we've got some money now. We'll be fine. Uh, the diet expired. Okay, let's summon that while we're here. Papal state opinion, at least 100. Paris, space manpower. Montpellier, have a dock. We'll go with the clergy. There we go. Boom. And Papal state. Improve relation. We'll try and get it up. Who can we call in? Aragon will join. Oh, yes. Yes, please. <laughs> Come on in. That makes things a lot easier. <clears throat> a lot easier, I think. Yeah, that, sh that should go better for us now. Hopefully they'll send some troops over. Switzerland joins, oh sorry, doesn't join. Separate war against Savoy. Yeah, I don't see any Aragon troops, but hopefully some will, some will turn up. We now sort of have them kind of, they have cannons, okay. We Can we build cannons? Am I being dumb? No, we can't. How do you have cannons? They have mill mil level 7. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Can we get that, please? Like, soon? <laughs> not really. No. <laughs> it's the answer there. No. We're on our way to getting it, but not yet. Come on, let's get this siege down. If we get both of these, we can get rid of Brittany. We could probably... Maybe nab a province out of it too. Idea? No, we want to save for the tech. Sorry. Can't do that right now. Right, as soon as this is done. We don't even have to separate Peace Brittany actually. We can just leave. I don't know why I was so invested. We probably could have left them. I don't even see them. <laughs> yeah, we probably could have left them. They, they don't seem to have too many troops to bother us with. We probably could have just gone all in on the north. But yes, Barbarian... We probably shouldn't have let Paris fall, but never mind. And our general just left. All right, let's hopefully get a good one. Come on, come on. Stop giving me attrition. They're walking through. All right, now we're going to go and retake Paris. Yeah, Brittany already offering a peace deal. We're going to decline that just for now. We'll just sit on it. It will give us some overall war score, I think, if we just hang on to it. Okay, Burgundy is going to attack... Provence here. I think we should step in and save them. Okay, 40k. We should... 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 <laughs> be okay. We're probably going to lose this battle, aren't we? But our armies should be okay. Come on, Aragon. Okay, we lost. That is... That's terrible. That's not good. That is really bad. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> Another big defeat. And it looks like we lost, yeah, we lost, I mean, we have plenty of manpower, but that is, that's painful. Um, it says we have this much, I don't know where they all are, I guess Aragon is not here. That 19 stack is not, or 19k troops, they've not exactly shown them. <laughs> shown much presence just yet and we just get keep getting picked off like why is that three stack just wandering around by itself i'm not going to save them because i tried to i tried to be the good guy and save them last time and we still ended up losing we're being fully blockaded too so it's all all going well let's go get the ticking war score province that will ease some of our pain i think in the early stages yeah let's go focus on getting that any, there's no one else that could be separate pieced, right? No. That's fine. 
we will just focus on get this that will at least get it ticking in the right direction for us We could really do with cannons, like that would help with the sieges. If I could get to that mill, next mill tech in reasonable time. I'm not sure why these boats were out, they were told to come back, even though they're mine. <laughs> I'm going to blame that on them entirely for dying. Oh, yeah, see, that's just, I can't do anything with that. Provence. I'm just going to go sit on these two forts and try and improve the situation a bit. It's, only down, it's back up to minus 15% now. So that's improving the situation. But if I peace out with Brittany, we'll lose a lot of that positive, <laughs> positive war score. So, yeah, let's just sit on here try and undo these and that will bring it back towards more more even terms maybe Aragon will be useful at some point or Milan might consider joining in it's just stuff like that why why put a two stack there what was the there was no need <laughs> Okay, come on. Half oh, minus 35%. This is going to take a while, isn't it? I don't want to put it on speed 4, but I'm not actually going to move, no matter what is going on. War exhaustion's already high. Lovely. Could always build some more troops. I just, I mean, the main thing we need is those cannons, which we are about to get probably in a month. So that's fine. That put a couple of them on each of these sieges. Hopefully that will speed it up. And at the moment they've not retaken this province, so that is that's going in our favour. <laughs> Spoke too soon, didn't I? Of course I did. Okay, Limber, there we go, boom. So now we can build the large cast bronze mortars. We can lose two war exhaustion, two. Okay, right. One. One, one, one. Okay, I need to watch these and make sure they don't die as soon as they spawn, because that would be that would be frustrating. What is our combat width? Twenty-four. Oh, okay, we kind of need more troops to use the cannons effectively, but for now, desperate times. We'll just go for it. Lorraine is on our side. Oh yeah, they're part of Provence, aren't they? Probably want to make sure Provence does not get forced into piecing out, but we should have Paris back under our control soon. So that's something. And those cannons are being built. Oh, there's Aragon finally arriving up in the north. So I'll go focus on this bit here, and then we should be good. Should be okay. Come on, come on. Oh. Okay, those cannons are days away. There we go. Hop on in. Hop on in. Hop on in. There we go. We've got our technologies. Unseaged that province. It's all going well. Okay, good much better and now we can go focus on Burgundy and not fighting the war in our own territory which is what we wanted <laughs> from the beginning took a bit of a while to get to this point but there we go we should now surely 64% come on yes there we go Paris is back and now we're down to just 3% negative I'm gonna go try grab their capital as well whoa, 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 whoa. don't attack them there that's not good that is really not good, but we have got reinforcements. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. That I did not expect them to be there. Aragon's coming, but it's going to be too late. I, they are just 
They have a better general, but they are way better than us. <laughs> Don't know what's going on there, but um, they, yeah, they're blowing us out of the water in every single fight with less troops. So they're obviously doing something right. I know we had a penalty there as well. Burgundy. They have more morale, but not significantly more. Okay, well either way, that wasn't great um, for either of our stacks. I don't think we got the Papal State. Oh, it's just shy of 100 as well. Uh-oh. Yeah, my army might be in trouble here. I don't think they'll get stack wiped, but this is not not what we wanted. Please just run somewhere safe. Ideally not through Burgundy. All back. Oh, this is going as difficult as I imagined. Right, let's let these numbers heal a little bit. This should be okay. We're behind a fort, so I'm just going to rack it up to speed four because I'm not moving until these stacks are back to full strength. And then I'm going to click pause. Template. I'm just going to make a five infantry template here and I'm just gonna we are way over force limit I didn't even realize that um, and I can't afford that template for some reason so never mind what I'm gonna do is click here where's that thing where's the button I'm looking for allow attach let's allow if any of the smaller nations want to come attach to me <laughs> give me some more strength All right we're pretty much back to what we want so let's go in Aragon is here so that's fine I probably want to stop them sieging Paris, but we would lose. We would lose if I fought those battles. England's got a golden era. Not good either. But, uh, well, they've used it now. There's a whole game ahead. Let's get straight onto this siege. That's what we want to do. Aragon pieced out. That is. That's bad. That's really bad. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now things. I mean, we still. We've 20k more infantry. Not quite equal cavalry. Seed one province. I'm not going to accept that. I think we can get it back to like. In worst case, we can get it back to equal. I'm I'm committed to this now. <laughs> we should siege this out, which should bring it right back. And I just have to go and deal with all this in the north again. But there we go. We take their capital, and that was nice and quick. Let's just yeah. Let's just make them make them suffer a little bit. They've been dishing out the pain for us so far. So let's let's go after them. I just siege out those provinces again. Again, that Brittany war score is just about the only thing keeping us going. But yeah, now they are starting to push really deep, which is kind of concerning. I'm so does this number not include? Okay, they pieced out Provence. Now we are going to pause. Speed three. Um, yeah, I still have thirty nine k to their twenty four. So how is it that if both my stacks are together, they always win? <laughs> I don't know. But it is just me now. Going it alone. Focus. I'm gonna probably go. But what are the Ottomans doing over here? <laughs> what are they doing all this way? Are they fight? They might be fighting someone. Completely random. That big Poland Austria war going on too. I don't want to sabotage our game just for this, but I don't want to give anything away. Eighty ducats would be the current price. That's not too bad for a sort of failed. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna <laughs> gonna make the decision and take that for now. We'll accept that. Not what we wanted, but it wasn't going too great. We probably could have turned it around, and it would have cost us a lot because now we have no money. We have like a, gra a grand in loans, <laughs> so that's always fun. I can purchase an ability though, so that's that's good. <laughs> Oh, 
reduce war taxes for the future. Can we take this idea right now? Yes, we should. Garrison size up. There we go. Slowly getting through quantity. Not really made any progress on economic ideas. I'm not sure why, because we had this for ages. So I don't. Uh, Burgundian secession. Brittany will defend us. They inherited. Did they just get like ten times bigger? Yes, they did. Okay, nice. <laughs> nice. And Brittany became their became a junior partner as well. So that's this is going to be a fun, fun game with a menacing neighbor. I think we need to find another big friend. I think that's what we need to do. We still have Bohemia, Aragon, and Milan, so I don't think they're going to attack me anytime soon. The Ottomans would not take an alliance anymore. They've just seen me lose. That's probably why. Oh, anyone? Naples would. They're allied to the Ottomans. Poland, would you? No. Hungary. Austria, obvious. No. Muscovy. What else you? Sweden. I don't know. I'm just looking around. Right, national tax up 10%. That is good. We need that right now. Well, the people don't need it, but we, the government of France needs it. Me needs it. That is good. We get that in. That's We still want a hugely negative amount of money. I'm going to turn the army maintenance all the way off. We, that's still not enough to put it in the positive. Oh my goodness. That's not great. Um, hmm. Yeah, that is, that's appalling. I guess the war exhaustion and devastation is pretty high. So that's not good. But yeah, we have a lot to repay. I think we're going to have to sit it out for a while. Sit here and... We can still grow. We can um, improve relations with Armagnac. I think they're the last one, aren't they? Gain some ducats. Bourgeoisie gain 5% of the land. Yeah, we probably need that right now. Despite our low crown land. <laughs> War exhaustion is high, I know. Can I reduce that? I could for 73 diplomat. We are ahead on the tech, aren't we? Yeah. We might as well go ahead and at least boost it once. Or twice. Yeah, let's just get rid of it. I've decided. Change my mind. Just get rid of it. Scotland want an alliance again. I'm, I'm just going to leave Scotland. I just don't want to... Sorry. <laughs> I, I mean, they're already, like, doomed, aren't they? So, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Gain 50 military power. We'll get a skill 3 at 50% of the price. We can't afford you right now, so I'm just going to take the military power. Maybe we can finish quantity. Yeah, we are still losing money. What is... Oh, the interest is pretty much equal to what we're losing, so that's not good. Fleet maintenance. Where Where's the fleet? Just, just come into the port, then. Does that reduce your fleet maintenance? Not sure. We're going to turn that off as well. We're still at only 0 0.7. I'm trying everything to get it up. I mean, it's not going down as much, but eventually it will hit zero in a long, long time. <laughs> okay, there's nothing here. Paris, I mean, that would be nice, but... Production, Leon. Again, that's not going to dig us out of the hole. Okay, we'll sit. We'll, we'll just sit here for a bit. Let the other countries do what they need to do. We'll integrate Armagnac. We were way over our force limit. We still are by five k. So I'm gonna, gonna sort of siphon off. One, two, three, four, five thousand troops, and that should. Obviously, those ones are costing us even more than they should do. <clears throat> so that should. Maybe ease the burn. Yeah, now we're making one a month. So that eases it a little bit more. Not paying the extra penalty for being over the cap there. So there we go. We're only making one ducat. And then if we just wait long enough, I think... I don't have that money, Provence. Sorry. <laughs> Land maintenance down another 5%. That's great. I know at the moment it's not exactly super high. It's only 5 but, you know, it's an extra... 25, 0.25 a month. It's all going to add up. There we go. We're fine. We can recover now. I might knock down a fort. I, I don't know if we really need three here. Maybe we could get rid of this too. Let's just 
don't really need three. Like these ones are spread out. This is kind of fine. We probably don't need this one, but we'll keep it because of burgundy. And again, yeah, we probably didn't need three in a line. They, they're not that effective when you have that many. Okay, plus one, plus two. This is very unbalanced all of a sudden. I didn't really realize that. Um, and I don't want to be paying for these. So that's fine. 2.4 a month. I think we're going to have to fire this guy. Just for now. And then I don't want to. This is what. This is plus two. So this will go down to seven, right? And then it will go down to six if I click this. But this will also go to six. Yes, okay. I probably shouldn't have done that, but never mind. That's fine. And then if we get a cheaper one, it gives morale. Okay, yeah, that's that's half the money, and that's more balanced. That's all, all good. I like that. That's that's fine. I mean, we won't get an admin advisor just yet. We're still well ahead of time in techs, so we will just pick the ideas if we can. We've nearly finished quantity, which will be really good. Give us that well, force limit, but land attrition going down would be nice. And if we can get to the end of here, we'll get a lot of nice stuff as well. If we go economic. What is going on elsewhere? Oh my goodness, Austria and Hungary. That is disgusting. <laughs> uh, okay, Aragon. I'll, I'll give them that. They did try and help, and we're going to hit 50k anyway, so it's fine. What is going on? Muscovy looks huge already. I can just pay a bit of attention. What is, this is what has happened down here. The Ottomans don't look as expansive as usual, and I imagine that's probably to do with this Austria-Hungary weird-looking blob. Why did they not like me? Oh, I allied Aragon, who's their rival. Okay. Mamluks, are you just too far away? Probably. Luxembourg. Wait, what? Oh my goodness, Burgundy exploded. <laughs> that is... I can't tell if that's better or worse. They are no longer PU, so... That is um, probably good. <laughs> For us, it's a mess, but... <laughs> that's that's pretty good. In Provence got bigger. They even integrated Lorraine. Okay, that's that's probably good for us. Um, that just ran was up don't remember there being a Luxembourg next to us earlier. Maybe I just missed them, but... No, okay, that's good. That's Burgundy, not as strong. We like that. Now they just have Brittany, so... That should be much more easier to deal with. While I'm here, I'm going to... Boldly repay some of these loans to bring down that interest bill, which was hurting us a lot. Yeah, now we're making five a month. It's definitely getting better. We are still guaranteeing Scotland. I, I mean, I'll keep that just because we've only got four, we've got two spaces and we're not doing anything. But I'm not gonna. We'll see if England's brave enough to pull the trigger. <laughs> and I'm gonna continue. There's an easy way to do this. Where is it? It's in here. Allies. Who would ally me? Luxembourg, Brabant, Flanders. We could actually ally some of those Dutch nations. We'll just pick one. We will pick Flanders. There we go. And if they need help, we'll help them. It would be good to have a friend <laughs> up here, just in case. There's a lot of nations that could get messy. Scotland. Tunis? Tunis might be an interesting one. We're not really doing anything down there, but... Getting them ahead of, like, the Ottomans or something could be pretty useful. Sweden would now accept as well. Are Denmark interested at all? They're not exactly... Do they hate me for some reason? They don't like my alliance to Bohemia. Brittany just inherited Burgundy. This is going to be absolute... That is what has just happened. <laughs> I wasn't the only one struggling with that war, clearly. Brittany now has all of Burgundy's territory. And they're, only, they're allied with Trier, and they are guaranteed by England. Okay, so that's... This is where you want like more advanced diplomatic relations because I could just go to England and say if I give you Scotland <laughs> Can I have Brittany? <laughs> Don't think it's gonna work like that, but That would be kind of cool What is going on here? Hungary, Austria Versus Denmark and Norway All right, 
do we come to Sweden or Tunis? Sweden or Tunis? Are you not allied to the Ottomans? They're not, but they're trying to. Let's get Tunis in the long run. We would like some good relations with them down there. And that might limit the Mamluks from doing too much as well. Which in the very long run might be useful. So there we go. We'll add Tunis and now we look pretty we've got some we've got some good allies across the board. That's that's a pretty good good mix. And now we just recover. We've nearly got this next government reform. No, nope, we've got it. Milan declares war on Savoy. What can we get here? Curia treaty con treasury contribution up. Curia powers cost down. Okay, clergy. Admin tech cost down ten percent. Admin advisor cost down ten percent. Or all estates up five percent. I think that's a good, good one to take. We're in the money. Yes. <laughs> And we will now take construction costs down by 10%. Nice. And we will finish quantity, which gives me 10% more tax and land attrition. Nice. I don't know what the tax... Oh, this was the tax was for this. That's good. Still paying out a lot in interest. But I think I can repay another one of these loans fairly soon. So that will at least ease the burden a little bit more. Yep, let's get rid of another one. There's still four left. Oh my goodness. But that payment is now down to 1.6. It's not really going down. By the time I pay the next one, it goes back up to where it was. Oh, I can't really afford this. Dang it. I would have liked that, but there we go. It's fine. How long will England defend them? Until England want the territory, I imagine. England's got some strong allies. We don't want to get in trouble with them just yet. Castile, Portugal, that would... Even if Aragon probably won't defend me. But if they did, they might still get overrun. And I think we've, we've messed up a little bit early on. But we're about to annex these three provinces. So we'll be a slightly, slightly bigger... Bigger blue blob. Oh, we had loads of papal points. We could probably spend those. Morale will save some, but in the short term, let's get that tax modifier in. I am allied to Tunis, who was being like crusaded against. That's probably not the best. <laughs> but there we go. We'll play both sides. Moria is still around. That would have been a good alliance. That would have really, really screwed with the Ottomans. <laughs> that would have been an interesting one. All right, up to nine ducats a month. I'll probably put the army maintenance back on, but we'll leave it. There's no rebels. There's no one. No one's invaded me just yet. We should be okay. <laughs> We're about to annex our vassal as well, which will give me like another 5k troops. That I'll have to decide what to do with. Um, our force limit's now 50, so it's gone up quite a bit. 23 admin. Oh, I don't want the base tax, though. I'll, I'll take the production. There we go. I was going to say admin because that's the idea group we're sort of pushing towards, but we're no longer really ahead of time for these technologies, so we'll wait for those. Nobility will no longer have that effect. Okay, and then perfect. Boom. And we completed, oh, I completely forgot about mission trees. What have I been doing this whole time? I guess we've been busy doing other stuff. But we've now completed this one, centralized France. We're getting 25 reform progress. Reformed is enabled. It's not. What do we do? We need to gain at least 10 military per month in the age of absolute. We're not that far in the game yet. Bordeaux, owned by France. We oh, should have got that. Let's see, if I looked at this first, this is just, yeah, taking stuff off England, both of these, and then subjugate Brittany. Okay, so we're going to have to go on the war path to do those. Now I have too many diplomatic relations. Now I can only have five. Oh. Scotland. Revoke that guarantee. And then I have six here. We are going to have to get rid of Tunis because they're the only one without a royal marriage. And I don't want to be spending the extra point at this point in the game. So sorry Tunis. 
So not so good anymore. But we do now. There we go. We've got an extra 5k troops. Which is kind of replacing the 5k that died. Oh, these guys have got the glitch, haven't they? Um, well, you know what? <laughs> Disband. We'll, we'll save some money early on. I think our military is still big enough. I mean, it's Mamluks, Austria, England, Ottomans, yeah, it's about way bigger. Brittany's 20k, so it's fine. Who's Brittany allied to? Can I just, where's Trier? They're orange, aren't they? They don't, I don't think they're close. Is this Trier? If I just declare war on Trier for, no, no, Austria would join. I was going to say, it's just there. And there we go. I've, didn't take them long. As soon as I unguaranteed Scotland, that war broke out. I don't know if anyone was allied to Scotland, just Flanders. So yeah, that's that's a shame. Sorry, threw them under the bus a little bit, but France has got its own issues to to sort out right now, including the fact that I don't really know who I can attack out of any of my neighbours. So I think we just have to be patient and fix a few things first. We should be able to repay another... I swear there wasn't this many loans when I took them out. I've already repaid four or three. Repay another loan. Try and fix this. Bring those expenses back to zero. Or not not the interest expenses back to zero. Alright, which one is the biggest? Technically it's this one. Get rid of that one. Global trade power up 10%. Nice. When's the next idea group? Not for a while. Okay. I think it's... Is it 9? 10. Okay. Oh, marriage of Milan. But yeah, we'll just be ready. I'm sure Aragon, Milan, or someone will drag me into something at some point. So, give a thousand soldiers to Aragon. Yeah. Let's get as many favours as we can. I don't want to lose stability. I don't want 21 rebels. I will suffer the military power loss, as annoying as that is. It's like a year's worth. Probably should have just done the rebels. I'm sure we would have beaten them. And our manpower would have recovered just fine. But we learn for next time. But yeah, let's just sit back. Let's see. We'll get called into something at some point. I'm sure of it. We're still okay. We're only fourth great power. That's not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. Technology, nice and on time. Good. Increasing our trade range. Should yet the. Oh, that was a nice little jump in money. That's good. Still only making nine a month. I think if I turn on the army and fleet maintenance, that will go back to sort of negative. No, it only went up by... Oh, no, that's fleet maintenance, a duck it. If I pop army maintenance, it will sort of go down to one-third of what it is. Ottomans just popped a golden age, and they don't even look like they're doing super great. Like they've done okay over here. They don't always reach up this far, right? So that's fairly good. But I don't think they've done amazing. It's not really... You know, Caraman's still here. They are allied to the Mamluks, I guess. Okay, Muscovy is beating Denmark, so they are probably going to get hold of this territory. Oh my goodness, Denmark is losing to a lot of people, actually, so this could get interesting. They are... Oh my goodness, how on earth did this start? <laughs> I'm assuming this is maybe separate. Muscovy... No, yeah, Muscovy v. Denmark, and then Austria, Pal Palatinate Secession War. Yeah, I'm not really sure what... Denmark is going to look like after this because and Scotland's pretty much gone to England as well sorry guys Saxony, Poland, Sweden have disputed secessions go okay, throw our name in the hat off that alliance any of our allies, I don't think we're on there alright, another idea um, I think we're on track for the tech Although at the same time, interest per annum. Oh no, this is inflation reduction. Interest is the next one. I was going to say, yeah, that would be nice just to reduce that a bit. But 
inflation reduction is nice too, but we'll get there, we'll deal with it all slowly. Slowly but surely, I'll try and use some of these papal points before it hits the cap, just keep having bonus. Oh, interest per annum, inflation, yeah, see we can just do that to improve our economy a little bit, that will bring it down and reduce our interest payment, so that's good. We could probably pay off another loan now, not the biggest one though, let's, let's aim for the big one. I can't remember what you're supposed to do in real life. There's like advice. It's either pay off, you know, start with the small one and let the big one, or do you do the big one first, but then all the small ones keep growing for longer. I can't remember, but there we go. We got a nice little treasury bit of money there to pay off potentially multiple of these loans. 229, and then we're very close to another one. Then there will be no issues, which is good. We're, we've rebuilt, we've recovered. It was a pretty brutal, brutal war, particularly for the war exhaustion side of things. But I think we've, we've allowed France to recover nicely. No one attacked me. I mean, I was worried maybe in England or Austria or someone, Castile, you never know, might see their chance and then Aragon betrays me or something. Could easily happen. I'm allied to Provence, but I'm kind of rooting. Not too much for Milan, because I don't want them having southern France, but, you know, if they broke that alliance, I wouldn't be against it, because I need someone to attack that's, like, not an HRE member. Because, yeah, I mean, I'm not fighting Austria and England in most of these wars. Brittany, I'm allied to... There's, like, no options other than going against England head-to-head, -head, which would be a mess. Yeah, Switzerland, Castile, Portugal, I would not want to fight that war. I would be heavily outnumbered. Which is also scary because it means they could attack me at any point. Paris, that's pretty good. Plus 0.29. Uh, trade depot things always good. But let's just quickly. No, don't take any more loans. Pay off this one. Now we're down to one. So our interest now down to 0 0.3 a month. Why is our stability at? I haven't paid. It's at three, so that's all fine. That's all good. Okay, so yeah, we're just kind of waiting to get called into something, for something to change on our borders. <clears throat> Got to be a bit opportunistic. We've kind of ended up allying, or everyone else being too strong for us to go after them. I mean, Castile has got some monster alliances there. Yeah, that's even with Bohemia, Aragon, and Flanders, we're not even close. The agenda is about to expire. Oh, I tried my heart. Hang on, Papal State. Don't give up on me. Improve relations. How long do I have? 40. Oh, I have three years. I was going to say, if I send them a gift and improve relations, that should be enough. I cannot send them a gift. Oh, wait. I can in a few days. Send gift. I think like 50. At what point does it just max out? It maxes out about. Oh, I don't even have that much money. We'll do 75, there you go. That gets it to 8, so then we just need to improve it and hopefully it hits 100. If not, I tried my best. <laughs> it just didn't work out for us. Oh, Milan did take some of Provence's land. That's a bit annoying. I do actually see an option to expand. Savoy here is a vassal of Milan. <laughs> Never mind. Actually, that's kind of okay. So Milan's got Savoy, so they're they're kind of good. That's I thought we'd found something. Switzerland. I've tried to attack them before in other games, and it's never gone well. So that's that's off the table too. So at the moment, we're kind of boxed in, unless we sort of break an alliance or anything. Right now, I'll take this tech. No, twenty percent production efficiency. Very nice. Nobility, gain length 10, loyalty until 5th of June, 15, 16. That's 20 years of morale down 10%. Oof. Let's just improve Paris. And then we'll get this mill tech. Boom. And now we can focus on ideas again for the next good amount of years. Nine years. We are doing pretty well on the technologies, I think. I mean, is everyone else on 7, 8, 8? Eight? Okay, we've got all 8s. It's kind of similar. But. Well, Castile's not quite there, they're 768. Obviously, yeah, going to Muscovy it's going to be less, but we're okay. 
We need the money, it's a sin. This is slowly reducing, which is good. I think it is probably soon going to be time. We have one, oh, we have one more loan to pay off, never mind. I was going to say, it's soon going to be time to um, start paying buying some buildings I think and look at that our queen from the beginning of the game she's she's still going 40 years old had a long reign now which you take over at like 15 so 25 years as queen of France Louis is waiting he's 25 oh we did it there we go we finally in the end we snuck in and got there if I seize land how much do they they all lose 20 loyalty okay we're not quite in a position to do that but if, it, if they all get a little bit higher we might be able to grab some crown land back for ourselves because as we can see the nobility control a lot of the territory at the moment Muslim Scavia they took all of that which was expected Sweden I think took some stuff off Norway right they look bigger Miltech cost just came down after I'd already taken them of course nice We can summon the diet again. Let's do that. Valar base tax. Where do we need it the most? They're all actually pretty equal. Poland's opinion of France is at least 100. We can do that. I get that. That's when I click it over here and it's like minus 200. But no, that's, that's doable. Improve relations. We'll get that done. And again, that will just boost it up. Once they, If we can get them all to sort of 60, that sort of area, then we can probably seize a bit of land for ourselves. And that will put us in a better spot too. Right, let's look. Autonomy. How is that getting on? I've also not really devved anything. I probably should do that at some point. I've just been kind of focusing on getting all the ideas and techs mm -hmm. on time. But we should probably dev at some point if we're ahead anywhere. Brittany are in a coalition against Milan. Oh, that could be interesting. Oh my goodness, half the world seems to be in that coalition. Well, I'm sure that will fire at some point <laughs> on that basis. Yeah, that's that's pretty rough, Milan. I kind of want to get rid of Provence. I, I, I'm not sure about this. In the long term, I think we want their territory that remains. It's not particularly... If they're not going to, like... They would never accept vassalization, right? Yeah, minus a thousand. So that's not going to happen. So I think we should probably say no to that royal marriage. And maybe dissolve the alliance. They may not survive beyond this. It's the only risk, but how long do I have to wait? Breaking truce. How long is the truce? 1503, five years, yeah. We'll see how that goes, and then let's see, who else will now befriend me? Naples, Scotland. Scotland's still clinging on. Sweet Papal State now would, as would the Ottomans. I'm really, I, I kind of want to do the Ottomans one, but it does seem a bit cheaty. I don't know, but they're not doing that great, so maybe it's not the as bad as it seems. It's between Ottomans and Papal State. Papal State would really bring me back in with the, the papacy. I don't know. Let's do Ottomans. Well, no. It would protect me, actually. Yeah, let's do Ottomans. I, I was thinking, no. I'm not probably going to help them. There's no one who's probably going to attack the Ottomans, so it's not like I'm deterring anyone from doing that. So... It probably, as anything, it's just a deterrent from, like, we saw if Castile attacked me and everyone joined, it would go really badly for us, so it's more of a deterrent from that to have the Ottomans on side. Maybe they don't, yeah, I don't think they they don't rival Aragon anymore. So that became possible. And that opens up the route as well to maybe unally Milan and get Naples, because they are friends with the Ottomans as well. That could certainly be something that works, and then Naples maybe becomes Italy and we have a good friend there something like that but we'll keep an eye on Provence now 
as we've got five years until we can go after them. But that is going to be it for this episode. So as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.